In this video, I answer some of the most asked questions that I have received from my experience in staying at the Grand Muthu Cayo Guillermo Resort. I also answer some questions about the area as well. When asked what currency they prefer for tips, many came back with Canadian. So what I did was I brought a bunch of $5 bills and I tipped each individual $5 about every second or third time that I saw them and they really appreciated that. You can use loonies and toonies to tip if you want to, but just know that they are not useful in Cuba. So what I do is I take bills at the end of the week and ask if I can buy back any loonies and toonies if they need it. And one last tip, please check your bills before giving them as tips because they can't use any bills with rips or tears in them. Yes, you are going to see a little bit of seaweed on the beach, but it's mostly at the very start where I think they pile it and it's not a gross amount that is going to ruin your vacation. And they groom it daily to keep it under control. It's a beautiful beach, no worries. There is a market right outside the gates of the hotel. It's just a couple minute walk. It's really not that far. And when you get there, you'll notice that there is a spa where you can get spa-like treatment done. There's also a disco, there's a bowling alley, a liquor store, a restaurant, even a small playground for children. And then there are a few booths where you can purchase souvenirs and gifts for your loved ones. Pilar Beach is another beach that you have an option to go to when you are staying at the Grand Muthu. It is about five to 10 minute drive. It's really not that far and it is absolutely stunning. A must see when you are visiting Cayo Guillermo. There is a bus that will take you from the hotel to the Pilar Beach if you want. It is $5 per person round trip. You can also take a taxi for the same cost of $5 per person round trip. We decided to do that and lucked out with getting a vintage purple Ford and we had a great time. There is a washroom on site. Pro tip, please remember to bring toilet paper and wipes for washing afterwards. I wouldn't necessarily call it shortages. It's just a different cuisine than you're used to. You don't go to Cuba expecting the same food as what you get at home. That's just the way it is. Now, some days, yes, you may get bacon and the next day not. I also did hear that they didn't have butter or they were low on ketchup, things of that nature. But day to day is different and I never found it hard finding something to eat. There's always pasta, potatoes, meat and their fruit is amazing. Absolutely. The grounds are beautiful, the pools are amazing and the staff go above and beyond to make sure that you have the best vacation ever. They are just amazing. I've already been twice and well I have my third booked. If you'd like to see more of what this hotel has to offer, I do have two other videos that you can check out. One is a walkthrough of the hotel grounds and the other is a walkthrough of an ocean view room. And please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video so that you can stay informed of any future content. Thank you.